Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. Whoa, beer tower things. This is going to be a general message for Aquarius. It's not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Aquarius please may you resonate with. Some of the messages may also resonate. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen, all linked and listed. At the end, we will pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, jump in right in Aquarius. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. Your first card out is the Empress card. Libra or Taurus energy could be important to you, followed by the Nine of Swords, followed by Major Arcana, the Justice card, more Libra energy. We are in Libra season, so Libra season could have been an important time frame. Um, something may be happening by the end of, before the end of Libra season for some of you. Okay, three more cards for Aquarius, please. What else do we have? That's a bit much. We have the Ace of Wands. What else do we have for Aquarius? Two more cards, please. Some sort of karmic lesson here. Some sort of balancing is getting ready to happen. It looks like someone is very stressed out. This could be you that's stressed out. Uh, maybe you're dealing with a legal matter or you're dealing with someone. There's someone in your energy that could also be dealing with a legal matter. Friend, family member, lover, whoever it is for you. What else do we have for Aquarius, please? But um, there's some sort of new spark here. With the Ace of Wands, seems like there's a new opportunity for excitement, for passion. We have the Five of Swords, so at least we're lessening down on those swords. Someone is going to come out of this just energy. We have Major Arcana, the Magician. And we have the King of Pentacles. Could, could be dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. It does seem like you're dealing with someone here that is very stressed out. They have been very stressed out. This could be you. This could be someone you're connected to. Bottom of the deck is the Four of Pentacles. They probably haven't been telling you much about it. This person has probably been very distant, very quiet. But I do get they're not telling you about what it is that's stressing them out. Because they seem to be looking at you as being in a very solid position here. You could be um, embarking on some sort of new endeavor, new passions. But whoever it is that is stressed out here, it doesn't look like they're going to be stressed out for much longer. There is change coming. The five of swords. We're going from the nine to the five. So there's a sense of determination that this person's going to now um, come into. We have the magician and the justice card. Some sort of Someone could definitely be dealing with some sort of legal situation. And that's finally going to come to an end. So now they're able to stop stressing. Now they're able to maybe start something new with you or reignite things with you. Someone might have been going to court for some sort of money here with the King of Pentacles. Someone could have had financial issues that could also have been stressing them out because their money's been tied up in legal matters. But I do see that coming to an end. I do see that coming to an end. I do see this person being also very focused on themselves here with the magician. It's all about me. It's all about I. This person holds you in a very high regard. They see you as um, the end-all be-all. But right now, they're very stressed out. They definitely could be not telling you yet. Something's going on with someone that you are connected to. I don't get that it's you. And I do get you. They will tell you once everything is wrapped up or they're done dealing with whatever it is that they're dealing with, they will be coming right back. The Five of Cups here, there's some sort of regret. Maybe they regret how they deal with things. Someone could also be regretting not being open and honest with you. I get a very heavy energy of someone's finances being not all the way there, not being where they want it to be. Someone's finances could be definitely tied up in some sort of legal issue or some sort of karmic cycle. Maybe with a mother, something to do with a mother, baby mom, you know, child support, that type of thing. And they haven't been telling you about this. They've been very focused on self, very closed off. But it looks like that is going to change here. There's a sense of determination that this person is um, coming into. And I think the determination is um, geared towards this Ace of Wands, starting something new, bringing back the passion, bringing back the excitement, still wanting to sort of work things out with you. They are seeing you as the Empress here. Also could be a friend. For some of you, it's a friend that has been dealing with some things behind the scenes and they have not been telling you what it is they've been dealing with. It looks like someone's been having money issues here. Either money issues or some sort of legal matter that has them very, very stressed out. But I do see that coming to an end. You also have two fives here. So there is change. Change in some sort of situation with, the, with someone that you are connected to that has not been telling you the full story. They have not been telling you the full story. But they will. Some sort of ending here. Something is over yet. Whatever this legal situation is, whatever is stressing them out, it is going to come to an end. 
And as soon as it comes to an end, looks like they're going to um, make their way back. Very nostalgic energy here. Could definitely be a friend for some of you. But this is someone that is remembering how good things used to be. And maybe they're going to need some courage to have this conversation with you and really tell you what's been going on with them. I do think it has a lot to do with finances. And the reason why they're not telling you is because they're looking at you as the empress. The empress usually does not have any sort of financial issues, right? Very solid individual, male or female, does not matter. Whatever the empress touches turns to gold. So they're looking at you like you have it all. And within themselves, they don't feel like they have it all. Someone could also feel like they're not good enough. Or they did feel like they're not good enough. But I do see a balancing coming into, if this is a financial issue for them, I do see them going from the Four of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Some sort of karmic cycle too. Could have been a karmic lesson around money. But definitely could be a legal matter that someone has been dealing with and they have not been telling you. Out of embarrassment... Because the Five of Cups can also be a card of embarrassment. You know, they've been embarrassed to tell you that they ain't got it. Especially if they're seeing you as the Empress. The Empress is um, someone that deserves the best. And this person very much is aware of that. But obviously, it looks like they've been unable to sort of provide a certain sense of stability for you. Or with you. Maybe they can't take you on the dates that they want to take you on. And they do regret sort of not telling you the full story. They definitely regret that. But they do want to fix things here. They do want to reunite. Scorpio season could also be a very important time frame. Someone could also have a lot of pride here with the strength card. The strength card is also a card of restraint. Right? Holding ourselves back from doing what it is that uh, we really want to do. And I do think this person wants to come towards you here because this strength... The Empress, this is the Empress here too. And there's that fire energy with the Ace of Wands. So someone wants you, but they don't feel like they're good enough. They don't see themselves being on your level. Very much wishing things could be different. Very much stressing. Lots of anxiety around the situation with the Nine of Swords. But I do think eventually a conversation will come. Once they're done dealing with whatever it is they're dealing with, because I do see a very heavy focus on self here. Very focused on self. You might think this person's up to something, but I don't think it's what you think it is. They're embarrassed. Someone doesn't want to tell you that their finances are not all the way good because they're looking at you like you have it all together. Whether you do or not, they're looking at you like you have it all together and they would love to offer you something, but they don't think they have the means to do it right now. That's what they're actually keeping from you. Could it definitely be a friend? But the Three of Cups and the Six of Cups could definitely be a friend. You know, you always got to pick up the tab and they don't like that. They don't like that feeling. For some of you, definitely is a romantic interest. They're seeing you as someone that they could marry, spend their life with. If this is a love situation specifically for Aquarius, what is the guidance? Libra, Aries, Taurus, Leo. Scorpio could be important to you. Virgo and uh, Capricorn with the King of Pentacles. Someone's embarrassed by their financial state. Which I mean, you know, times are hard. I don't think it's anything to be embarrassed about. I think you would much prefer this person to be honest with you than to kind of play games. Because I do see maybe you're thinking they're playing games, but they're not. They're embarrassed. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yeah, as soon as this person's done with whatever this is, or they get their money back to a certain place, or they're done dealing with whatever legal matters that has their money tied up, they're coming right back for you. You are the one they want. That's not the issue here. They see you as definitely someone that's worth investing in. Very much missing you too. Yeah, chariot energy. Cancer. As soon as they're done, they're headed straight for you. But I do see you very much focused on yourself too. See, they see you as the queen of pentacles. So they're trying to become the king of pentacles. They don't want to be a moocher. Okay. Deception, yeah. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. It could also be that they told you that they were better off than they actually were. But it's out of embarrassment. It's out of the, the feeling of not being on your level or not wanting to lose an opportunity with you because they don't think on, they're on, you're on their level. They're on your level. Guidance the prayers, please. But this is also a karmic lesson for this person. With these major arcanas in the future energy. Very much a karmic lesson for someone. It's like, like it's just better to be honest. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. This is abundance energy. So if you have not been speaking to this person, they are thinking of a way to sort of um, what they can do to sort of get back in your good graces. 
if there's been some sort of distance, which I do get, but it's because this person's extremely stressed out. They don't want you to know that they're having money issues because they definitely see you as someone that deserves the best and they're unable to provide it at this point in time. But I do see a true pair here. They are working on it. Guidance for Aquarius, please. Buffalo spirit, the abundant universe will provide. It could definitely be a mindset that this person needs to switch. Their mindset is what's keeping them blocked because we do have a lot of swords here. Whatever way they perceive themselves, that's also what's blocking them. That's also what's keeping the money from um, coming in. You know? But there is abundance coming. Koi fish and abundance. So it's only a matter of time before this person sort of gets their self back on track. And it looks like as soon as they do, they're headed for you. Aquarius. Take a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. I think this is the realization. This person might have been keeping themselves from you until they got their money together. And it's like, why? I can't. So they might decide just to tell, to be honest with you and see how you react. Because it might take a little bit longer to get their money right. And it looks like they're very much missing your company because it does seem like they're very much distant. They're trying for you not to kind of catch on. Trust the niggle. What is the niggle feeling trying to tell you? I think this is them that's being guided. This is a lesson that's definitely being learned for this person here. There's no need to hide. Be honest. You don't know if this, you know, if you have some sort of opportunity, especially if this is a friend. You may have an opportunity to help them get their self together. But it's kind of the keeping, uh, not letting you know. It's coming off as very sneaky energy. And that's not at all what's going on. Guidance for Aquarius, please. Two cards. You should be so proud of how far you've effing come. Yeah, I do think this is for this person. They see you as very accomplished, though. And the comparison is what's killing the joy out of the connection. Comparing themselves to you. And we have no other bee can do it like you can. Yeah, they absolutely want you. No doubt about it. They want you. All right, Aquarius, that is your reading. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys next week.